Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Thank you so much for coming in today. We're going to be using you to demonstrate how to process a suspect, and it's going to include going through uh, some of your clothing items, checking your body for any physical issues, and then measuring uh, a couple of your measurements to have in the system. Is that okay. okay? Yeah. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is take a seat here. Gonna be removing your shoes carefully. And I'm placing them on the evidence table for later. We'll be doing a full inspection of the shoes at a later time. The next thing I'm gonna do is get a quick And those measurements, got those on the other side. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to go ahead and record those findings. Okay. Could you please stand up? I'm going to have you put your back against me. And we're really taking your height. All right. And you're also standing on the measuring. So just step away from the wall so you're not leaning. A little further back. So now that we've gotten all the basic height, weight, and shoe size, we're going to go ahead and start examining the body itself. Alright, so I'm going to begin with the hair. I'm looking for not only anything that may be hidden, but also any signs of a struggle, any cuts, scrapes, or bruises things that may be pertinent to the case. Coming around to the other side. Also looking for any signs of pain. That way I can check that area to see if there are any scrapes or bruises, even if they're not visible. I'm going to be touching your beard now. Okay. The hair looks fine. I'm going to move on to the body now. Could you please put your arms out like this? I'm going to do a quick pat down of any unexposed areas. This perpetrator has already been searched for anything large like weapons. I'm looking more for any evidence, anything left in the pockets that could be used for the case. Turn around for me, please. Could you please turn around again? Could you please put your arms clasped in front of you? I'm going to be searching through your pockets. I'm pulling the pocket away from the perpetrator while I search. And I found a piece of evidence in this pocket. I'm going to go ahead and save that for later and examine it closer. Move to the other side. 
one point away from Purgatory. This pocket of this spirit. You turn around for me, please. I'm going to do the same thing with the rear pockets. I'm going to just be checking the body for any signs of struggle, any cuts, scrapes, or bruises that we want to document. Do you see a bruising here on the side? I'm going to photograph that. Gonna check down the legs. And pull on your socks, okay? Could you turn around for me, please? All right, go ahead and face forward. So at this time, I'll go ahead and send the perpetrator for further processing where he will remove his clothes, be given clothes to change into, and this way we can examine the clothes further on the table. Okay, so feel free to go that way. We'll get you all worked up. At this time, our volunteer perpetrator has been taken through processing, so we're going to go ahead and check some of the evidence that he left behind. I'm going to don a new pair of gloves. First thing you want to do is examine his shirt. I want to be careful as to not shake off any evidence. I can see there are quite a few follicles on the shirt. I'm going to begin bagging. It does appear that the perpetrator has a pet of some kind. However, we want to bag as many pieces of evidence as we can. Just make sure we're not missing anything that shouldn't belong on the shirt in the first place.
place in evidence. Next thing is we're going to spray some luminol. And look with our light for any stains, blood stains. Especially want to check over by this arm, which is where I found the bruising. I don't see anything on the front side of the shirt. And look at the back side of the shirt. And you see just a little bit of staining there. Didn't brush off easily, which means it's embedded in the fibers of the shirt. So I'm going to go ahead and photograph that. I'm going to go ahead and bag the whole shirt. I'm going to send this to the for further testing. Next, we're going to make an imprint on the bottom of the perpetrator's shoe. The only shoe evidence found at the scene was a heel print. So we're making sure to take the heel print of this shoe. Now that we have that impression, we're going to set that aside and let that dry, and we're going to examine the shoe further. I'm just dusting some of the debris off the shoe. We'll go ahead and see if we can match any of that sediment to the location of the crime.
Otherwise, there does not seem to be anything hidden in the shoe. Shoes don't appear to be worn in any particular pattern. I do see patterns of mud and dirt on the shoe. I don't see any other trace evidence. Is what we found in the pocket of the perpetrator. Looks like just a tag. Doesn't seem to be related to the event at all. Okay. We'll keep that as evidence, but at this time it does not seem to be related to the crime. The last thing I would do is clean up my workspace and inform the detective of any findings that I may have had.